Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dand as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another episode in my AZ140 exam prep series. Um, this is episode, I want to say 14, hopefully I'm right. <laughs> this is episode 14. Um, so we are, we've been obviously working through the different topics. This is topic six, this is the second part of topic six. Um, and if you remember the last sort of topic we were talking um around some of the stuff some of the storage um so and we've been doing some demos this is an episode where i don't have a demo because i'm trying to um i'm trying to mix and match our labs a bit more try to spread them out because there's less labs in our episodes and i'm going to be doing some nerdio uh demos and labs towards the end of the series as well so without further ado let's get started with this episode so as normal my socials uh, my twitter linkedin etc don't worry if you can't make a note of them they're in the description as well uh, so this is the AZ140 tutorial, a bit of reintroduction to who I am. My name is Shabazz Daz. I said I am the I am IT geek, but also I'm a Microsoft MVP in Enterprise Mobility and Azure, so I'm a double awardee. Uh, my main areas of focus are AVD, Azure IaaS, I am, which is identity, Microsoft Onto really, and Microsoft Security in general. Uh, and that includes sort of Defender for Cloud, Microsoft 365, but also sort of purview and information protection. Uh, I've been working with uh, Azure Virtual Desktop since its inception, really. Um, and again, I've got a book that, that on this topic as well. So I'm a published author. I've written two books. One of those books is on the AZ140 study guide. Uh, you can get that in the description as well. So please feel free to um, buy that. As I mentioned, this is the Configuring and Operating Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop series. So today's episode, we're going to be talking about, um, which is topic two, six, part two. Talk about creating, creating host pools and session hosts again. So we're going to talk about managing licenses for session hosts that run Windows. And then we're going to talk about deploying Microsoft Entra joined VMs in AVD. Let's talk about managing licenses for session hosts that run Windows first of all. So AVD licensing allows you to apply a license to any Windows or Windows Server virtual machine that is registered as a session host in your host pool, um, which is receiving user connections. License does not always apply to virtual machines that are running a file share servers or domain controllers. Uh, there are a few ways to uh, use the AVD licensing. Uh, so you can create a host pool and its session host uh, virtual machines using uh, obviously the Azure Marketplace, which we've done. Uh, the virtual machines created this way automatically have licenses applied. You can create a host pool and session host virtual machine using the GitHub Azure um, Manager Template, the Azure Resource Manager Template, which we've done as well in a demo. Virtual machines created this way automatically have a license applied as well. Or you can apply license to an existing session host virtual machine and there's, there's some instructions for PowerShell that you can follow there. And you can see at the bottom of the screen as well, the, the, the slide we've got, that's the how you apply a Windows session host license there. Um, so yeah, there's, there's two ways, so either while you're creating or you can apply it after the fact as well. Let's talk about deploying Microsoft Onto joined VMs in AVD now. So, what what we see is it, uh, this is like an overview for, for sort of deploying and accessing Microsoft Onto joined VMs in AVD, um, and you so you know you, you, the virtual machines can also be automatically uh, deployed into Intune as well when you add it to AVD. The configuration that we see uh, in in the slide um, supports Microsoft Onto joined VMs um, for personal desktops with local user profiles for pool desktops, uh, sort of like you know like a, like a user's a jump box. Um, but when you access in your access to on premises or Active Directory domain joint resources should be considered when deciding whether Microsoft Onto join VMs suit your environment or not. And Microsoft does obviously recommend Microsoft Onto join VMs when users only need access to cloud based resources or Azure AD based authentication. Uh, so that is the uh, episode. Quite a, quite a short episode, it's just theory based, unfortunately. Uh, like I said, we will be doing a lab in the next episode, which will be start of topic six, I believe. Uh, sorry, topic seven. Um, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you've gained something from that. By all means, drop me a comment if you like to see, you know, going to go into a bit more depth about any topic we've covered in this episode. Uh, please do like and please do describe, subscribe on my videos. You know, I'm, I'm obviously trying to grow my my channel. And I appreciate everyone's support. Loads of useful links in the description. A link to my socials, as I mentioned. A link to the GitHub repository where you can see all the labs. Please do complete all those. A link to MeasureUp's um, discounted um, practice exam for this exam, uh, for this for this one as well. So the AZ140 practice exam. So MeasureUp obviously the official partner for practice exam. So please do um, take a look at that. I definitely recommend investing in that. 
and also a link to my book as well so i do the book on the az140 exam prep so by all means invest in that if you feel it's going to help you i obviously recommend it so thank you very much for watching until next time goodbye